Welcome back to Dementia Q&A, where we answer your questions about dementia in about five minutes with as little medical jargon as possible. I'm Dr. Mark. I'm an internist and a geriatrician here in Louisville, Kentucky. This week, we're going to be talking about how dementia progresses. I'm asked all the time, what are the different stages of dementia? Because people hear medical professionals talking about the different stages. I think the easiest staging system to remember is the mild, moderate, and severe dementia stages. Most people are familiar with the mild stage. That's typically when most diagnoses are made. People will complain of having memory trouble, difficulty remembering new things, and those folks might end up asking the same question over and over again about something that was recently discussed. Or they might have trouble with naming trouble naming people or places or objects, and they'll substitute words in and out for the object they can't really recall. Family and friends may notice mistakes get made with finances, with navigating in the community, or with preparing a meal, for example. And it's the combination of the memory trouble and the mistakes being made in one's activities of daily living that really forms the basis of the diagnosis of dementia. Of course, one would go to the physician and have cognitive tests done. Usually those cognitive tests show that something is not quite right. This person is not performing on these tests the way we expected them to several years ago. It's not uncommon for people to have some behavior changes during the mild stages of dementia. That can range from becoming withdrawn, resisting social situations because they become a little too intimidating or confusing, all the way to people becoming frankly irritable and angry. A noticeable change in someone's demeanor is not uncommon in the mild stage of dementia. In the moderate stage of dementia, memory continues to decline. People will often have trouble remembering people and they'll mistake one family member for another for ha perhaps. They may also start to forget to do things for themselves things like grooming and dressing. Indeed, the memory trouble in the moderate stage often leads to problems with judgment. People might leave a pot on a hot stove. They might open the door and wander out into the community and leave the door unlocked back home. This is often when family and friends start to understand that they can't leave this person with dementia alone for very long. In the moderate stage, behavioral changes are common. And that's partially because the moderate stage of dementia is so frustrating for people who really are not able to remember things and do things the way that they used to. And they're also having to get used to a lot of people around them constantly trying to help them get things done. All of that can be incredibly frustrating. People may develop frank paranoia they may suspect those they love of taking things from them or trying to harm them. And often something called sundowning will occur where after what seems like a fairly normal morning for that person, the behavior in the afternoon is markedly different, completely changed, usually aggressive, verbal, and very annoyed. That can happen almost every day in the moderate stage. And that puts a lot of pressure on caregivers and loved ones. In the more severe stages of dementia, several things happen. By now, the person's memory is very minimal. One can barely remember something that was said even five seconds ago. But in this stage also, people's speech often begins to really decline. Whereas before, they might have been able to joke with you and string together a, a several words into a sentence to say a bunch of things. Whether or not the conversation was very meaningful, they were still able to really speak. In the severe stages, people become much quieter. Speech is much more sparse. The number of words that are strung together is minimal. There may be a few stock phrases and people can become very quiet, as I said. People's body movements also become very slow. It's not uncommon for people with severe dementia to have difficulty walking without holding on to something. 
Sometimes they can't even sit up straight in a chair without support. Lastly, the control over the body really begins to show itself when it comes to continence and swallowing. In the severe stages of dementia, people tend to become incontinent and eventually people have difficulty swallowing. And that's what leads to pneumonias that can recur over and over again. And that's really time to start having meaningful end of life conversations because multiple pneumonias in someone who can't swallow with severe dementia is usually a sign of impending death. I hope that this discussion of how dementia tends to progress and the different stages is useful for you as you're thinking about yourself or a loved one that you're helping to care for. Thanks again for watching Dementia Q&A, for sharing the videos, liking, and if you've been a subscriber, it's greatly appreciated. I'll see you all next time. Thanks again for watching.